patience helps build the understanding. Recently, the whole thing that happened at uh, Irving Plaza with Troy Ave has reached, I wouldn't call a climax, but an alternative step. Whereas for the Irving Plaza incident, we've now seen that a uh, podcast personality tax stone has been arrested and he wasn't arrested in new york the hometown of the brooklyn native but he was actually arrested in texas now what's going on with this um details have not been handed out but let's break down the understanding of what actually happened at irving plaza so there was an incident that of a shooting was called in uh what we first saw publicly was a camera angle that showed Troy Ave entering with his bodyguard. Now, since then, his bodyguard has been deceased uh, through the Irving Plaza incident. Uh, one of the only individuals I know of that had perished during the incident. And Troy Ave really didn't go into detail. What we heard from Troy Ave is that he didn't do the shooting, although we saw him shooting on camp. So where we know New York and New York's gun laws, he's guilty because he caught, got caught on camera shooting. Troy Ave was. Now this new evidence, they're trying to say is DNA related to Tax Stone. We have to look and find out the cir circumstance of this evidence in which they're trying to say. Now there's many different ways they can go. His DNA being on the trigger, they could say at some point he touched a weapon. But even so, that doesn't mean he did the shooting. He could have touched a weapon in a struggle to save his own life. He could have touched a weapon and um, just by walking by the person and happen to see it or pick it up off the ground and hand it to that person. There could have been many incidents in which he touched a weapon. All they're saying is the circumstance was he entered and then after he fled, which any normal person would do if they're not involved in the shooting honestly if you look at the case any normal person if they enter an area when the shooting happens they're trying to get out well that's all they saw on camera him do even though his dna is on the trigger yes it means he had contact with the gun but does that specifically mean he shot it did he get tested for gunpowder on his hand so there's many other aspects that fit into what's going on and it's kind of crazy to me because i've seen a lot of people talking and saying different things about the incident and a lot of it was basically trying to say oh you know is this tax stones in my thing is this is all circumstantial evidence he was present in irving plaza that's all that's proven from that camera it doesn't prove anything else around it a lot of people like oh is tax stone going down if he has sensible lawyers this is a very, very weak case in that sense because it's all circumstantial. So if a robbery occurs and I catch an individual on camera, now the only way I can initially identify him is if a witness says that's him and under testimony goes on saying that's the guy that did it and the evidence all points to it. So the DNA evidence of all his of being on the weapon and all that stuff points to it. But there's no witness coming out saying, hey, this guy was doing the shooting. But there is a camera that witnessed Troy Ave pulling a trigger. So that's a little different. So for him to arrest him saying his DNA was on it, it's all still circumstantial unless they prove he actually fired the gun. Now, there was no gunpowder on his hands, but I'm sure he has a license or he goes out practicing shooting to be a very famous personality and to know he needs to protect his life. So a lot of different things around this incident are circumstantial. It's nothing weighing heavy to prove, hey, Tax Stone, without a doubt, is involved. There's nothing saying that. It's all hearsay. It's all um, assumptions. There is no assumption to the fact that he didn't have to pull the trigger to have his DNA on the gun. He could have easily touched the gun at some point in time during a struggle. He could have did this um, during some type of initial handoff or prevent preventing the shooting. So we don't really know all the details surrounding the situation. So that's why I wanted to put that out there 
um, surrounding a lot of different details and things, I see a lot of other individuals saying, as well as the article you're going to read in the description, a lot of people are, are kind of white writing it off. They're saying, oh yeah, he's the, he's a, the guy that's involved. He's the guy that did it just cause he was present just cause his DNA is involved on something. Doesn't mean he's the only one with DNA on it. Doesn't mean he's the only one that was there. There could have been a circumstance in which he tried to fight the guy off. And then the gun started going off and he just decided to get out of there. So there's many different ways this could be looked at. You know, I see a lot of people kind of damning the situation. It's nothing proven yet. It's nothing proven. It's just a lot of say so or someone like, oh, yeah, that's what happened because they say that's what happened. It's nothing that's set in stone. So I want to put that out there. And now that I put that out there, I put that out there to say this, too. And this brings us back. So what we understand about the game and about um, celebrity, how celebrity things work. Now, before Tax Stone was actually arrested and stuff, we seen him beefing with several people, including WAC 100, um, uh, Troy Ave at some point in the past. So being in the game, you know, he's accumulated a lot of enemies. So if we want to look at this uh, strategically, this could even be something to set him up by his enemies. So. We need to, to keep our eyes open and be less accusing and make accusations because we don't even know if Troy Ave was really involved with the killing and, and shooting there because it was his bodyguard. But at the same time, you can't count him out just because Tax Stone's hands or his DNA is found somewhere on the weapon because, he could, like I said, there could have been a struggle for it. Could have been many different scenarios. If it's hair, hair sheds all the time. It depends what type of DNA we're talking about. Even if we're talking about fingerprint DNA, I think that fits into more likely that it's very circumstantial because just because that's someone else's weapon or it may even be his weapon, there was a lot of chaos going on. He could have tried to reach for someone's weapon to shoot back and they fought him off. He, there could have been many scenarios to this. So I, I look to see how this case unfolds. And I do see people saying, oh, you know, you have marshals after him and different things. Listen, when a person is of interest and they're not in the country or they're of wealthy status traveling normally, it's very normal to get marshals involved because they know the mobility of this person is beyond the normal district cop. So it's very rare tax stone is going to get caught in traffic riding with nypd so they get marshals and people involved federal investigators especially with the profile case this is surrounding troy ave so i just want to put those things out there because i see what a lot of people are saying and it doesn't necessarily have to be true to fit into all oh, you know well they got this guy this guy's responsible there could be many different reasons on why they're handling the case like they are so um, for everyone out there saying he's guilty, I just say retract your statements and just wait to see how everything unfolds. I'm not saying you got to run around saying, oh, free tax stone or whatever you're saying, but we don't know what the case is about yet. We don't even know if the evidence is solid yet. So we just saw them have enough of inkling or proof to question him, to take him into custody for questioning. So we don't have anything legit to say okay he's charged with this he's charged with that and i don't even know if they announce charges because nothing's set in stone right now it's just accusations on a man being involved in something so with that being said everyone um let me know what you think about this incident let me know if you truly feel troy ave or tax stone had something to do with it let alone if this is a mo of a personality that we've known tax stone to develop himself into uh does this even seem like something he'd be involved in uh some mess like that and i know like a lot of opinion gets involved but i want to hear what you think i want to hear whether it's for what i'm saying or fully against what i'm saying i think it's important to have different mindsets and views out there so we could kind of melt stories together and create um, a collage of a defining picture of probabilities of what could have actually happened so you know i thank everyone for rocking with me and um i have content coming up uh tomorrow and different things and i know the weekends have been a little slow a lot's going on but the transition is going into a good place 
for not only Zara All Rights Reserved YouTube channel, but a lot for the workings I have and dealings I have surrounding the business of this channel. So I want to thank everyone for rocking with me, sticking along, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like, dislike, whatever you feel at the moment. And as always, All Rights Reserved.